Dude, I'm a little dog. Alright guys, it is just another yuck, rainy, depressing time to get the hell out of New York, baby, kind of day. Here, it is a Friday, it is a Friday, October 20th. 2023, and uh, so we are looking at this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant, where I check in with our good friends at mongabay.com for our weekly, uh, the, the most exciting rant of the week, the Manga Bay Ecological Meltdown Roundup Rant, where we check in with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls over at Manga Bay for their weekly catalog of cataclysm unfolding on this collapsing planet each week. So guys, I'm trying to decide, here's what I've decided to do. I'm going to, each week, I am going to do six stories six stories and if you want to hear more of this depressing laundry list you can just go on mongabay.com and take it from there so let's try this format out for a while and see if uh, <clears throat> I'll decide whether I'm coming back with another with another rant but uh, okay six stories why don't we go to the bottom? Maybe we'll go to the bottom and and work up the list. All right. And we're going to start out with the collapse of the global food chain. Here. <clears throat> Record North Atlantic heat sees phytoplankton decline and fish shift to Arctic. I think Elliot Jacobson was talking about these record North Atlantic heat temperatures and how was that translated over the summer. <clears throat> Scientists warned that record high sea surface temperatures in the North Atlantic Ocean this year are having consequences for sea life as marine heat waves there have worsened over the years, populations of phytoplankton, the base of the oceanic food chain, have declined in the eastern North Atlantic, <clears throat> with experts predicting more heat anomalies to come. North Atlantic fish species are moving northward into the Arctic Ocean in search of cooler waters, creating competition risks with Arctic endemic species and possibly destabilizing the entire marine food web in the region, lengthening and intensifying marine heat waves around the globe are becoming a major concern for scientists who warn that the world will see even greater disruptions to ocean food chains and vital fisheries unless fossil fuel burning is curtailed. Of course, I would say whether or not uh, fossil fuel burning is curtailed. Uh, let's see, uh, <clears throat> what do I do, I, I get six, alright, that was one, uh, alright, man, this is going to make it tough. Uh, we, we get, we, you get six. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm scared to do, you see what I'm saying? I'm going, uh, I'm going from, uh, bottom to top. All right, we have a question. So I'm going to make this number two because I see a question here. South Africa's penguins 
are heading toward extinction, will no fishing zones help? The answer to that question, well, will it help? Will no fishing zones help? It might help keep them from going extinct from a few more years. It's not it's not a 100% no, it's a gray area of help. Uh, with just 10,000 breeding pairs left, the endangered African penguin could be extinct in the wild by 2035 if the current rate of population decline continues. And of course, if the rate increases, they're not going to make it to 2035. <clears throat> to protect the bird's food supply and slow its population collapse, South Africa is throwing a protective no fishing cordon around its main breeding colonies for a period of 10 years, <clears throat> but the devil is in the details and conservationists say the cordons are too small to ensure the penguins get enough fish. Yep, 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 which is why they will help, but it will still, uh, go on and, you know, 2035, okay, uh, what was that, two, uh, let's see, so, uh, well, I'm scared to make, okay, here we go, how about this one? It's a real mess. It's a real mess. Mining and deforestation threaten unparalleled DRC, you know, the Democratic Republic of the Congo Wildlife Haven. This is the Okapi Wildlife Reserve in Northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo protects protects unique biodiversity, including approximately one-fifth of the global okapi population. An okapi is like a short-necked giraffe. Uh, the country's largest forest elephant and chimpanzee populations and 17 primate primate species and it safeguards forest access for indigenous tribes. But deforestation in the protected area is accelerating. Huh, imagine that according to data from Global Forest Watch. <coughs> artisanal, <coughs> artisanal uh, meaning planet nibbling and semi-industrial mining is a grave threat to the reserve <coughs> leading to deforestation and pollution of waterways. Hmm. I've never heard the word cadastre in my life, the word C-A-D-A-S-T-R-E, I'm 64 years old, never heard the word cadastre in my entire life. A disagreement over the boundaries of the reserve between park authorities and the mining cadastre uh, complicates law enforcement. Yeah, uh, I think is a cadastre like a, what was Donald Trump's word, a kofefe? Uh, let's take a look at the, a photograph of a protected area in sub-Saharan Africa. So uh, this is what it looks like in a protected area. 
in sub-Saharan Africa, if, if, if anybody does not understand what a protected area in sub-Saharan Africa looks like, maybe that photo will help. Is that free? Am I, am I halfway through my, my rant already? Uh, okay, three more. Uh, all right. Here, here we go. Uh, we have an H word. Fishing ban extension raises her. Raises her. Fishing ban extension raises heaven, raises hopes for iconic Amazon pink river dolphin. We need some hopium uh, in the mix. The Amazon river dolphin, or boto, is an integral feature of the rainforest biodiversity and culture. <coughs> Even though the dolphin is not fished for human consumption directly, it has become endangered over the decades because fishermen use its flesh as bait for catching catfish. Yes. The Brazilian government earlier this year renewed a moratorium on fishing the catfish and the huh, and the huh, and the huh, and the and 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 the huh, and the huh, uh, hope of saving the dolphin, but experts say fishermen have just been ignoring the rule. Yes, the measure just became even more relevant following the detection of more than 100 dead dolphins in an Amazon lake where experts su suspect that the deaths are directly linked to the extreme drought affecting the region, which is just one more reason uh, that the, the Boto pink dolphins are, are screwed. Uh, if the catfish bait choppers don't get them, uh, climate change will. Uh, okay, more about that uh, Brazilian drought. Now, I guess I will make this one of my six. You know, Manga Bay has its own YouTube channel and we've heard about this already, uh, talking about coffee and climate change. The world's best-selling coffee may be at risk. Here's why. So uh, you have to uh, go on to Manga Bay to find out why your cup of coffee is in peril. Uh, okay, uh, one more, uh, one more, good lord, so many to choose from here, guys, uh, okay, I, all right, we're having, <clears throat> uh, uh, okay, what is going on in Ecuador? I hear that Ecuador, oh, the, the politics of Ecuador are going straight down the toilet. Tensions flare as Ecuador's environmental consultation process is put to the test. I bet. Uh, in, in July, farmers in Ecuador got into violent clashes with police while protesting 
a new environmental consultation process and a large-scale open pit mine soon to begin operating in, uh, you know, near their village. The environmental consultation is part of a new controversial decree uh, in which outgoing President Lasso, uh, which may speed up environmental permits for infrastructure projects, including mining, as Ecuador's oil economy flounders. This conflict highlights an important tension that lies at the heart of all projects in Ecuador and in every other banana republic, and this is the consultation process. Uh, yep. Anyway, I guess that was six, so I just have to wrap it up here. I would like to talk about Iceland's whaling paradox, or uh, that half of palm oil plantations in Indonesia are illegal. But uh, anyway, I've already done my six, so... Uh, we will see if our Friday six-pack of Collapse will uh, get you to, guys to sit through it, the death, by six cuts a week. So anyway, uh, I may or may not be coming back with another uh, rant that I touched on yesterday about a new essay that I might come back and share with you from the conversation. We will have to see. But for now, uh, I have to get ready for the big weekend in the rainy, miserable vacation retreat at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Bye, guys.